Governor Tim Kaine joined state, county and federal politicians to break ground on new headquarters for the Defence Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA. DARPA is currently housed on North Fairfax Drive. DARPA's new headquarters will be on the site of the old Metrobus garage on Wilson Boulevard. But what exactly is DARPA and what do they do? It was born uh, with Sputnik when the Russians put up the satellite, the U.S. entered the space race, Congress created this agency. They want projects that have potentially enormous rewards, that have relatively modest chance of being successful, but when they are successful, kind of can blow you away. And that's what they did with the internet, that's what they did with global positioning systems, that's what they did with stealth technology. All of those were things that came out of DARPA. And, and got integrated into the Defense Department, and then ultimately things like GPS are probably sitting on the dashboard of your car today. But why does DARPA need to move? The uh, Secretary of Defense in 2004 uh, issued some standards that said that any DOD agencies, and DARPA is part of the Defense Department, have to be in space that meets anti-terrorism force protection standards. We were able to design a building for DARPA that met all of the Defense Department standards and yet was well integrated into the urban environment. See that Keeping DARPA in Arlington is considered so important that both the county and state government have allocated funds for the project. There was a $10 million state allocation that was very difficult to keep in for this project. I have had to cut $7 billion out of an $80 billion budget over the last two and a half years. And so new money for anything was tough. Uh, Governor Kane had tremendous pressure to take that $10 million and use it for something else. And he would hear nothing of it. He was absolutely committed to making that state money available for this project. If you look at an agency like DARPA, uh, they will attract a lot of private businesses and others, and they'll also do some innovative partnerships with our higher ed institutions. So we consider this, you know, it's, it's this is more of an economic development announcement in a way than it is a military announcement. We've figured out that, that our investment and the state investment in this project literally pays for itself you know, a year or two after DARPA is, is open. Uh, having uh, faced the concept of losing DARPA entirely to Maryland, um, we would have lost uh, a huge benefit to our community. You know, when, when the BRAC decisions came out in 2005, I was chairman, we had two strategies. One was to keep everything which we knew we'd have a hard time with. The second was to focus on the brainiacs, the smart, the DARPA, because of all the impact, economic development impact, jobs impact to Arlington, and we were successful. One of the few challenges to the BRAC decisions that succeeded. And as a result, not only are you going to keep the synergy of all these smart, creative, talented people, but then 1,700, 2,000 contractors that work with them. So that's 2,000 jobs. Those jobs average over $100,000 each which means that it's generating tens of millions of dollars of additional tax revenue. So this is a win-win for everyone. This agency and the Defense Geospatial Intelligence Agency are some of the federal agencies that are just at the cutting edge of research and knowledge, knowledge that then has all kinds of civilian applications as well. So I don't, you know, sometimes we're tempted to skimp on that, but I don't think we should ever skimp on sort of the knowledge activities that, that generate you know, uh, important discoveries that we can use for, for broader benefit.